Hey, what's up, everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. Excuse me. So today, you're going to be doing the what's next on Arislani Lara, the former super welterweight champion and now the newly crowned WBA regular middleweight champion of the world. He moved up to 160 finally and took on Cornflake Lamana and destroyed him first round knockout um, and is now the has captured the secondary championship at 160 that was vacant. So <clears throat> the big question now is what's next for Arizona de Lara? Well I personally feel like Lara is keeping it wide open to return to 154 if the if he gets a big enough fight or to fight somebody at 160. So I'm gonna run through the top ten like most of the top tens because I haven't re redone I haven't redone my top tens yet. Um, but I'm going to run through the top 10s at 154 and 160 real quick just to see what could be possible because I really think Lara is open to fighting at either one. He's an older fighter, but he's always done really well with um, staying in shape. And, uh, and I really believe he's better suited as a super welterweight, but he spent his career at super welterweight at 154. So I think he wants to try new things at 160 if the fights are there. But there's more, there's better options at 154 for him um, because he fights for the BBC and almost the whole top 10 is BBC fighters. But um, there's a couple options at 160 that could make sense if the guys are willing to fight. So it's just really coming down to that. Are the guys willing to fight? So let's run through 154 and then I'll run through 160 and see what's possible for Ares Lara. 154 now, number one, is unified champ Jermel Charlo. Well, I do think this fight could be possible for a couple reasons. Um, Charlo is fighting Brian Castaño next. If he beats him, he's the undisputed champ at 154. He's likely gonna give up at least a couple of the belts if he stays at 154. If not, I think there's a good option, there's a good chance that he moves up to 160 pounds to go after his brother's title because I think his brother might move up to 168. So, and if he doesn't, why not his debut fight at 154 be for a secondary title against Arislandi? I mean, at 160, be against Arislandi Lara, the veteran. I think that's possible right there. So, I wouldn't rule out him and Charlo, but that's if Charlo's victorious. But even if he's not, I think it's possible. But if Charlo loses, does he want to face a crafty southpaw like Lara? I don't know. I just, right now... I'm leaning towards a no. He would have to be victorious against Castaño, and and I think he he would have to move up in weight. But even if he doesn't move up in weight, I think Charlie, I think Lara is willing to fight him. So I I do think this fight is possible next. It, it could happen. Okay, number two is Brian Castaño, which would be a rematch from their fight um, a couple years ago when they fought to a draw. I think this fight could happen, but, um, you know, a rematch could happen. If Castaño loses to Charlo, um, where he's coming in the underdog, but if he loses that fight, I think there's a chance he moves he moves um, up to 160 to fight, you know, and he could take on Lara there. But would Lara want to fight him? I think only Lara would fight him in a rematch if he's victorious to become, to win all the belts. I think Lara would be in the fighting him, uh, or yeah, either at 160 or 154. But I don't think he'd, he'd want to fight um, Castaño if, if, if Castaño loses to Charlo. I think it wouldn't make sense for Lara to, even though I would love to see it. I don't think he'd want it. Number three is the former unified champ Jared Hurd, which would be a rematch from their fight in 2018 that Hurd won by a split decision. Now, Lara has has said that he he told Hurd that he'd fight him again, and Hurd declined to fight. Now, Hurd never came out and said that was true or not. So, would Hurd want to fight Lara now? Would Lara want to fight Hurd? I don't know. I think Lara would fight him again just, you know, out of kind of desperate times. You know, and Hurd, I don't know why he wouldn't fight Lara again. Even if he moved up to 160, there's, there is a secondary title there. 
a rematch would be fun to see. I think people would be into it. Their first fight was great, so why not? So, I don't know. I don't know if the fight's possible. I, I would hope it is, but I don't know, to be honest. Number four is Jason Rosario. Um, I don't see a, Rosar a Rosario fight win or lose against Erickson Lubin because Rosario's fighting Erickson Lubin next. I, I don't see him fighting him win or lose. Win, and he's in line for another title at 154, Rosario. And if he loses to Lubin, that'd be two losses in a row. Does he want to roll the dice and fight a guy like Lara in a third fight? You know, a third uh, after losing two fights in a row? I don't see it. Number five is uni former unified champ J-Rock Williams. I don't see J-Rock moving up to 160 or fighting Lara at 154. I just he hasn't fought since he lost to Rosario in January of 2020. I don't think he'd want to come back against Lara. Number six is former WBC champion Tony Harrison. Uh, Harrison just had a draw against a low-level name. I don't think he'd want to fight a guy like Lara next, so I'm gonna say no. Not gonna completely rule it out, but I don't think so. Number seven is Erickson Lubin. Uh, Lubin is fighting Jason Rosario next. If he's victorious, and he's in line for a title, one way or the other. If he if he beats Rosario, which he's the favorite, he's but he's in line for a title if he wins. If he loses, will Lara want to fight a guy of his skill level? I don't see it, so I don't see this fight either way. Number eight is uh, it is undefeated Terrell. Uh, no, undefeated Sebastian Fedora. I think Fandora would take the fight. I don't think Lara would. Um, Fandora is a tall southpaw, and I just don't think Lara would want a fight like this, so I'm going to say no. Um, number nine, I got like Terrell Gache and, to and uh, Patrick Teixeira in that area. The Teixeira fight, too hard to make. He's with Golden Boy, and, uh, and he's coming off a loss anyways, so the fight doesn't really make a lot of sense. And Gache, it would be a rematch of a fight that Lara won handily a few years ago. So I don't think a lot of people would be into it. I don't think Lara would, he'd look at it like, why am I gonna give this guy another chance when I handled him a few years ago, nobody's demanding a fight. So I don't see that one either. So at 154, it's really up to which guys wanna fight and which guys Lara wants to fight. You know, that combination of things. So not great options at 154. Um, but I think Charlo, if he's victorious, that's a real possibility against uh, Brian Castaño, of course. Okay, at 160 now. Number one, IBF champ, Triple G, Gennady Golovkin. I, I don't see Triple G fighting Lara next. I just don't think that fight makes sense for Triple G. I mean, I think it's a fight where he would destroy Lara and a lot of people wouldn't be surprised by it. So, I, I don't see it. Number two is Jamal Charlo, the, the former or the reigning WBC champ. You know, I do think this could be possible if Charlo is going to stay at 160. Um, right now, I think he's kind of he's fighting. Uh, what's that guy's name? Montiel or whatever in June. After that, I don't know if he's going to want to stay at 160. Still, he might be thinking about moving up to 168 um, to chase. Uh, Canelo so I'm not sure this fight happens but I think it is possible because it gives Charlo another PBC option at 160 and the thing is does he want to take the risk and fight a, a veteran southpaw like like Lara that's the big question we don't know um you know so we'll see uh number three is Demetrius Andre he never wanted this fight at 154 he's not going to want this fight at 160 that's not happening. Number four is Sergey Derevchenko. You know, if if Lara decides to stay at 154, I think maybe the the realest possibility, the biggest fight that he could get next would be a Derevchenko fight. Derevchenko's coming off of a loss to Charlo, but he's he's a PBC guy, and I think he'd be down to fight um, a guy like Lara. So. I wouldn't rule this out. The thing is, would Lara want the fight against a scrappy, come forward guy who's tough as nails like Darry Vinchenko? Not sure he wants that. Number five is Chris Eubank Jr. Maybe, but I doubt it. Yeah, I don't know if Lara wants that fight. Eubank's a big middleweight, so I just don't 
don't see this one coming together. Number six is uh, WBA Super Champion Ryota Murata. Um, you know, obviously, if the WBA ordered this fight, it could be possible, but it's ESPN working with the PBC. I'm not sure they can make that fight happen, so I'm gonna lean towards a no on this one. Excuse me, number seven, it's Jaime Minguia, the undefeated former champ from 154. Golden Boy and PBC, I just don't see them coming together for this fight. I'm gonna say no. And then uh, you got Rob Brandt sitting back there at number eight. Um, he's a top rank guy. He, well, he's also in, um, I, I think he's trying to break away from top rank, but he's in a big contract dispute right now. So <clears throat> I don't think anything's possible for Brandt anytime soon right now with all that going down. And then, um, you know, rounding out the top 10, you got Englishman, Liam Williams. Um, you know, I know uh, I had that undefeated uh, guy, Kanat Islam, back there also. Not seeing either one of those right now. So, Lara, not a lot of options. I think the Charlo twins, one of them, are both could be options next. You know, like, I think one could fight them. I think the other could fight them. It, it is up in the air, but I do think those are possibilities. But right now with Lara, as we normally get, it's going to be a while before we know who he's fighting and what he's doing. And it's not a slam dunk on anything. And hopefully we hear something soon, but it might be a while. So we'll see. But that's what's next on the newly crowned secondary middleweight champion of the world, Arizlandi Lara. I hope you guys enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been here with the truth.